Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my um, YouTube channel, Wandering Soul Food Vlog. Today's recipe is the famous butter chicken. Um, this recipe is uh, very fam it's, it's famous and uh, liked by a lot of um, Australians. Um, and I think in um, a lot of Western countries, it's become a um, it's become quite a favorite recipe of um, the the native people who enjoy Indian and Pakistani food or the subcontinental food in general. I'm yet to find this recipe in Pakistan um, itself. Like I'm not sure if I've seen it in, on in uh, Pakistani restaurants in Pakistan, but definitely like all the Pakistani and Indian restaurants um in australia they serve butter chicken it's um it's a must try um so i mean just give this recipe a try even if you are in pakistan um but i mean people in australia will know what i'm talking about it's their it, it's their favorite like if you like indian pakistani food um a butter chicken is a must that everyone has tried it is it does have a slightly sweeter uh, sweet taste not too sweet um obviously because it's a savory it's a curry um but um well give give this one a try um it's it's become one of our favorite at home as well we really enjoyed it um and i had a good time um cooking this as well it didn't take as long um i was thinking that it'll take me like two hours but it was done it was done within an hour um and it gave me some time like a lot of the stuff i was doing while holding my son um as well so i I mean it's an I'm, I'm sure it's an easy recipe if you can do that so I've got one and a half kilos of um, chicken there uh, we just need to marinate the chicken first with two teaspoon of ginger garlic paste um, half a teaspoon of red chili um, powder um, and um, salt um, to taste and uh, the marination of the chicken is not that important but like you know obviously it makes a bit of a difference um, I ended up adding half a teaspoon of salt at this stage because I like to adjust my salt later on um, so the uh, once just these simple things just three things go in there uh, you just mix your chicken um, properly you can use your hand or you can use a spatula whatever you prefer um, just make sure that you mix it properly and then you just put it aside while you're preparing um, making preparations for the recipe so I've got uh, one onion there um, we just like very nicely um, dice the onion uh, very very fine very finely chop it um, now like and you know, I found like ever since I've started doing YouTube videos I don't get to spend a lot of time with my son because I used to like go home from work and then uh, used to play with my son so now what I've like the more I'm getting used to go, getting a hang of um, the videos I've started to like involve my 18 months old son in the like while I'm cooking I like you know try to uh, spend some time with him at the same time like so he's old enough now to kind of like sit on the counter safely while like you know i'm next to him obviously uh and he loves eating tomatoes so that's my son eating tomatoes um while i'm like you know pre preparing for the recipe i think one good thing i did when he was younger was to introduce him to a lot of fruits and veggies and um uh, well thank god he likes all of his fruits and veggies so i've got one onion nicely chopped and uh, I've got four tomatoes, fairly big tomatoes, because that beautiful uh, that beautiful color in the butter chicken was from was from the um, the tomato itself. Um, like there wasn't any other food color uh, used in there. Um, so I'm like you know roughly roughly chopping this because all of this will be well cooked, and then um, I'll use an immersion blender to uh, blend all of this as well to get a nice a nice gravy. I've got. Um, four tablespoons of butter there two tablespoons of cream and I, i'm just trying to take all the ingredients out um for my ease but i'll explain to them as i put them um in in the pot so the pot goes on the um uh, on the pan like the pan goes on the stove and the uh one one well less than i used half a cup of oil um 
I try not to use that much oil if I don't have to and the marinated chicken goes in there so we just like you know cook this chicken nicely and give it a nice sear um, for like 20 minutes to 30 minutes we don't want to fully cook it because then like we do want to leave a simmering in the sauce as well but just give it a nice uh, nice sear on all sides just like uh, just wait until it's nicely brown uh, I'd say about 80% when it's about 80% cooked um, this is um, this is an important step like you know the, the sear as i've explained before the sear on the recipe on on the on the meat is um it gives a lot of flavor so i've done that like you know sauteed it for about like 20 minutes um and then i'm just taking the um, chicken out um you can just use the same pan to do to do all of your cooking um and then i'll just continue with my cooking in the same pan um so just make sure all the chicken comes out um obviously they're big enough pieces so we won't forget any in there we don't have to worry about that um but the chicken comes out um and then we'll just um continue cooking in the same um oil um that we had so the uh, chopped onion um goes in there uh, very no, finely chopped onion we just saute the onion for for about six seven minutes ten minutes is a bit much five, five minutes is a bit less so i guess like six seven minutes um and the two tablespoon of butter goes in there um i mean it doesn't have to be exact two tablespoon like you can see i've just like you know taken a thick chunk from the uh from from this uh, from the from the slab from the butter slab um but it's roughly if you melt it it'll be roughly about two tablespoons tablespoon um, and then um, your tomatoes goes in there so that your tomatoes go in there so that's four tomatoes um, in the pan now we just have to very nicely we just need to give these uh, tomatoes uh, puree the tomatoes nicely um, so I'm just gonna saute it for a little bit so just so it picks up um, some of the, some of the flavors from the pan um, I've added half a cup of water at this stage because we want to nicely, we want to have a nice, we want to get a nice puree from these, uh, from these tomatoes. Now I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'll check it a few times. Um, and then once the tomatoes are nicely cooked, I've put a handful of um, cashew nuts in there. You can put, you can use, uh, it depends if how nutty you like your butter chicken. One handful was good enough for me. And then half a teaspoon of uh, red pepper, one teaspoon of garam masala, um, two teaspoons of uh, ginger garlic paste, two teaspoon of um, sugar. Um, go in there and nicely mix it um, just so we're not burning anything because it's, it's, it's cooking while we're adding uh, ingredients in there. Um, I've added half a cup of water in there because I like uh, to have a bit of gravy um, in my in the butter chicken. One teaspoon of salt or salt to salt to taste. Um, one teaspoon at this stage was sufficient. I continue to check the salt as I go. <clears throat> and towards the end I adjust the salt half teaspoon of vinegar so all of these uh, uh, I mean and then put the lid on um, let it simmer um, so the uh, the tomatoes nicely cook as well once it's all cooked um, it, it's time to take it out and this is the only other pan that you pretty much end up using in this recipe otherwise everything's been cooked in that one pan it's quite easy that way is less dishes the better um, so just um, take um, all of that out um, we are going to use an immersion blender to blend it. You can use whatever blender you have at home. Um, like it doesn't have to be an immersion brand blender, but it it does need to be blended um, nicely. Um, just taking my time, taking everything out. I just like to make sure um, that I'm not missing anything in there. So like I said, we just need to blend um, this very nicely. I've got my son there helping me blend, <laughs> blend it and turn it into a nice uh, puree. Uh, so there's no chunks in there. I just miss spending time with my son. So I try to just try to um, involve him in any uh, safe activities during kitchen. He had a great time um, <laughs> blending the puree with me or the butter chicken gravy with me. Um, he loves uh, using technology um so he he was a great help um once all of that um 
once it's blended nicely i've just put a strainer there it, it, this is a very important stuff because butter chicken doesn't uh, is not good with with lumps like you don't want to have any lumps in there it has to be smooth gravy so all of the um all of the gravy um, is going to go through the strainer and I'm just going to make sure that I very nicely um, just get all the smooth um, smooth gravy um, through the strainer and all the lumps will stay um, obviously on top of the strainer um, but just take your time with this like you know because this I mean if you do a good job with the blending there shouldn't be um, much left over on top on top of the strainer it's just a matter of uh, taking your time with this so now that's just the tomato skin um, and uh, basically just tomato seeds and, and skin left in there everything else um, strained through um, just um, heat it up a bit because um, I mean after blending it, it it won't be it won't be as hot um, anymore so once it's hot enough put two ta two tablespoon of butter um, in there again because it is butter chicken so it, it does um, take a bit of butter I mean obviously you can cut on butter if you're trying to be healthy um, uh, just two tablespoon is sufficient for the recipe but I'll put four in there to give it nice flavor um, and after that the the chicken that we had um, cooked earlier um, that chicken um, goes in there um, two tablespoon of cream um, go in there um, a, a lot of cream is really not needed like two tablespoon um, I found was was sufficient uh, I mean you could put more if you want to make it creamy but um, it, this was sufficient um, and um, I've put a handful of kasuri methi. This is um, dried fenugreek leaves, um, one and a half teaspoon. It turned out to be. And now, as soon as I put kasuri methi, there was like the butter, the flavor of butter chicken just just changed. Like it just transformed. So this is a very important ingredient. You must put kasuri methi in there. Um, otherwise. Um, you'll miss you'll miss the essence of it um, and adjust the salt obviously in the end I like to do it in the end because obviously I mean you if you pour more it's harder to fix um, and that's pretty much it like after you put the kasuri methi and adjust the salt you just put the lid on let it simmer for a little bit it's ready to serve there you go <laughs> like literally no color I didn't have to put any food color or anything like you know that beautiful color there's no filters on this um, so this was the color of my butter chicken just from the tomatoes and the spices that we've used um my husband loved it i loved it even my son loved it like 18 month old son like he just enjoyed the flavors in it because it, it was not chili it was slightly not sweet but we, we did put two teaspoon of sugar in there um so it it was it was something that kids will like um so if you're having troubles with your kids trying uh pakistani food i think this is one of the dishes so one of the recipes to try um, give it a try um, my friends in Australia um, are used to eating it my friends in Pakistan I would recommend um, just give it a try so you can get a flavor um, you can get a taste of it see what it tastes like all right guys I hope you guys um, like this video um, inshallah I'll see you again with another recipe until until then I'll take off remember me in your prayers uh, take care of yourself thank you for spending this time with me inshallah see you again with the next recipe assalamu alaikum Allah bye